Changes by Buddy Miles and sometimes played by Jimi Hendrix. It is going to be played in standard tuning. Of course, it's being played on an electric guitar, but I think it translates pretty good to an acoustic guitar. And what I'll be showing you here is kind of a hybrid between what the electric is playing and then what the bass is playing, which I think that the bass riff is what um, what we remember most about what this song is doing. It's what's driving a lot of the verse and the chorus. The opening riff is going to begin with a hammer on. So you're going to put your first finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, and then I hammer on with my pinky to the fifth string, seventh fret, and then I hit it again. So you're really just striking twice, but you get three notes because of the hammer on. So it's like one and two, or ba ba ba. So one, two, three, but you're just picking one, two. And then you're going to go with your first finger to the fourth string, fifth fret. Come back down with your pinky finger to the fifth string, seventh fret. Come back down with your first finger to the fifth string, fifth fret. So you've got. And then pinky finger to the sixth string, eighth fret. First finger to the sixth string, fifth fret. And I think you hit that A note twice, so you've got very slowly. And you can use your ring finger everywhere that I'm using my pinky finger if the ring is more comfortable for you, but my pinky finger is just the most comfortable for me to use. Once you get to there, you're then going to strike the A note again, the 6th string 5th fret again, and hammer on with your pinky finger to the 6th string 7th fret. And then go with your first finger to the fifth string, fifth fret, back down to pinky, uh, six string, seven, first finger to six string, five, then slide down to six string, three, and then open up to open six, and hit that note twice. A lot of times on the open six string, on that, at the end of that riff, I'll put my first finger on the fifth string, second fret so that I can play a bit of an A5 chord there and then the riff repeats in terms of picking most of it is just down So you can hear the one hiccup there. I'm going like down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. So that's the rhythm that you want to work on. Once you get that lick down, the next thing is going to be the verse. play that is the guitar is playing that chord right there the way that you want to play this chord is I think the kind of the most important part of the chord are those last three notes right there for most of the times that you hit it I'm using my ring finger to bar the seventh fret of strings three two and one and then you want to put your second finger on the fifth string seventh fret you'll have an open sixth string and then if you can fit your first finger into uh, to fret the fourth string sixth fret that wouldn't hurt that's a awkward chord to make but it's a good one for the beginning of this verse and that's what you're going to play and then the bass goes so if you're wanting to mimic that if you don't want to mimic the bass just play that E over and over again But the bass is going to go open 6th string, 6th string 7th fret, open 6th string, and then the way you do that last part is put your first finger back on the 6th string 7th fret, hammer on with your ring finger to the 6th string 9th fret, and then first finger to the 5th string 7th fret, ring finger hammer on to the 5th string 9th fret, and then back down to 
the fifth string, seventh fret. So you've got and then the second time through, or really every other time through, it does that except for it repeats the it repeats that hammer on part on the fifth string, seventh fret to ninth fret. So one time through, it's just second time through and every other time through. So first time through, second time through, first time through, second time through. So it alternates between those two riffs. And then it goes back into the main riff of Anyway, those are the chords and movements to Them Changes by Buddy Miles. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.